interesting actually from Canada. Oh my god, what's he doing burning? Uh, uh, that's, that's a conversation in a second. What the fuck are you doing in burning? Just oh, for two seconds, I'll tell you in a second. <laughs> Jesus, I'm trying to have a conversation here. <laughs> Canada, out of all of Oh, Canada. Canada. <laughs> to travel to burning. I know. That, what a loser. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay. Hi guys, it's Brennan from the Messages from the Ordinary Man. Yeah, this is how we roll. I'm with... Tully. Tully. Hi. Tully's got a bit of a sore throat, so I told him to get in the front seat so we can at least hear her. <laughs> and uh, we're... Uh, I was telling Tully about, you know, the uh, one of the, the guests we had yesterday from Canada, and she said, what? Why would you want to come to Bernie from Canada? I don't know, maybe he likes it. So actually, you know what he said to me? This is the interesting part. Mm -hmm. He said, it's really cold and I can still wear my shorts. <laughs> and I went, well, you did live in Canada. Canada. Yeah, so <laughs> where it's bloody cold. Cold? That, yeah, that would make sense. Well, I thought I thought it would make sense, but I'm still predominantly surprised, to be honest yeah. with you. So, where are we off to today to eat? Uh, did you, did, where do you work? Did. The, the medical centre. Oh, okay. So you get to deal with all different types of people. All of them. I get them all. Yeah. All sick. Yeah. Sick in a few different ways. Yeah, that's right. And before doing... Well, how long have you done that for? Um, it's coming up for a year. Holy smokies. Yeah. Do you enjoy it? I do enjoy it, yeah. I really like it. What's, what's the best part? Um, is, there, oh, the best, is there a best yes. part? <laughs> Just all the people, the nice people. Because, because nice. we need a population of what five, six thousand people. Yeah, yeah. And and the average age, well, they're they're more elderly yeah, there, aren't they? Most of them are elderly. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So you get to do you get to see them um, in their later stages where they're all calm and relaxed and not stressed. Yeah. yeah. You know, where they've got conditions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but they're always got a friendly smile, aren't they? That, yeah, they're. Some of them are cranky. No, yeah, some of them are really cranky. Cranky, yeah, cranky. Now, did cranky. you did you hear about Yamina? Was on on the news yesterday. Oh no, what happened there? Well, there was a certain person that was a bit naughty. <laughs> he, he was a, he was a blind man. Yeah. And he was he was diddling his granddaughters. Oh fuck. Yep, yeah, and the guy got eleven years. Oh my god. And. I, 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 I take a lot of the, the nurses and a lot of the, yeah. the people to support Yamina. Yeah. And she, they said to me, Brendan, we weren't even told. The police knew, the management knew. Oh and this guy goodness. was there for 10 months huh. and no one was no told. One told. Oh my goodness. So, the, so there's a lot of people in Yamina that are pretty upset right yeah, now. Yeah, as you so there's going to be a lot of questions for a lot of people. And the worst part was, I actually had dropped this guy off about eight times to different locations. So I had a predator wow. literally beside me. Oh my goodness. And I actually, to be honest with you, I actually thought he was a nice bloke. Yeah. You know, you, you don't you see don't, it coming in yeah. any way, shape or form. No. And and I I was absolutely gobsmacked, you yeah, know. Because yeah, I said, I said, oh, come on, the, the blind dude. Yeah. He's blind, yeah, right. Yeah. Like, like he's gonna diddle someone, you know. <laughs> but no, he, he he's, he's in jail now. He got eleven years, six years. Oh he gets a chance for parole. I don't think he's gonna last six no. years personally, but um, yeah, it's a absolutely um, tragic situation. Yeah, how was he like old, old, like you know, um, seventies, sixties, seventies. But I, but I had no, I had honestly no clue. Like, no. so when I was told, I thought first, nah. But I had someone yesterday, yeah. um, that I was talking to that works at Yamina, yeah. And she said, yeah, it is. She showed me the actual digital um, news in the advocate. Wow, yeah. And they said basically, they said, you know, there's a lot of answers that have to be made now yeah. because, you know, because of the situation. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm actually quite surprised because you've got. Young ladies, old, old ladies there. Yeah, and there working. is a lot of young girls that work there as well. Exactly. Yeah. And and that and that was the thing, you know, he could have been doing anything to those people, and they yeah. had no idea. No idea. So 
so I was um I was actually quite shocked to be honest with you. <laughs> in, in, in a prompt way, it was bad. It's bad. It's really, really bad. We don't say the F word. We we go. It was duck. It was, really, yeah. really, really duck. It was. It was so, it was so duck. <laughs> it's like how we how, how people say about the far Q, far being a distance. Q we all stand behind each other. Ah. Would, it, would it be ever really far? So you know what that means. Yeah. I'm not going to say it because no. we're, we're, we're cool people. We don't swear. We're cool. So other than that, what, what's your plans for the weekend? Because let's, let's say it's Wednesday. You know what Wednesday is? Hump day. Hump day. Yeah. So what do you got planned? Are you going to go out, party? No. <gasps> no. 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 Come on. Be honest. I don't know what's on the agenda yet. What do you think you're going to do? Sleep. Oh. <laughs> Yes, I used to remember what that is. My wife, you know, my, 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 my lovely Shani, she says, she's like, oh, what's that? I said, oh, you get plenty of it, I don't. <laughs> yeah, it's typical. Yeah. My one poor day off, and I'm going to have to be all alone. All alone. My, my missus, she goes to me yesterday, and she says, Brennan, um, I'm going to be staying with Taylor, because they're house sitting for one of our friends. Yeah. Because they're animals. And uh, I said, oh, yeah, when's this supposed to be happening? Oh, yeah. Two days time. <laughs> I said, when were you going to tell me that? Melanie decided today. I said, oh, okay. Oh, I might decide that I want to go and hang out with my mates for a week, you know, on the Gold yeah. Coast, you know. And I'll tell you two days before two I days leave. Before <laughs> she goes, you wouldn't do that to me. I said, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> I said, you're Scottish, you kick my ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. So, yeah, I got prompted into that. She goes, you know what you do on Saturdays. You always do the house cleaning, yes, I do. <laughs> Do all the bit washing on her, so I do all the washing, yes. Yeah. So she knows me too well. She knows that I'll go and do all the rubbish stuff and have to do rubbish and clean the house and, you know, all the stupid crap that all I the do. Yes, yeah. on my day off. <laughs> Instead of, you know, sitting down, having a scotch, relaxing, no. No, no I'm time gonna be, for that. I'm going to be cleaning. I think I, I'm, I think I'm getting ripped off here. I think you are. <laughs> People said, when was the last time you went out and had a beer? I said, oh, what's that? that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. And I should also I should also add this pelican was the one that introduced me to doing all this, by the way. <laughs> it was actually quite funny because I was still learning how to use GoPros <laughs> and uh, we, that, that first conversation oh, we had, yeah. I actually muted the whole thing. So when I was watching it, I'm going, where's the volume? I can't hear you guys. <laughs> and I, and, I, and I, I seriously watched the whole thing thinking, oh, it's going to kick in at any point. Yeah. No. no. 17 <laughs> minutes talking to you and not a single sound. <laughs> and then I finally realised, oh, I shouldn't have pressed that button called mute. Yeah. That, that so would be yes, <laughs> it's, I think. it's 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 hey, it's been an adventure. That's all I can say. <laughs> but we but out of it, I, have I told you how many people I've spoken to? Nine. Okay. Nine. How many? Okay, I've got uh, this week. I'm actually putting in two people uh, that I spoke to about King Island. You, you, you know about the King Island Chief has shut down. Close. Oh, has it? Yep. Oh shit. Oh, yep. Sorry. No, sorry. There you go. That's called shit, by the way. <laughs> You might have heard an, an S, but it's a ship. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, so King King Island cheese yeah. is finished. The food I shut it down. Really? Yeah, I'm not what? kidding you. Yeah. When did this happen? So, uh, well, well that is, living under a it's, rock. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, most probably. <laughs> but uh, no, they've. Um, I think I'm pretty sure it'd be closed now. So, 60 people, jobs gone on King Island, and th and they were the main employers. Oh my goodness. So I spoke to two different families from King Island and yeah. we discussed that. So yeah. I'm going to be putting those two episodes up. Yeah. I spoke to a gentleman yesterday uh, from Canada. He actually was a nurse at aged care facility and his partner is also a nurse at an aged oh, care yeah. facility. He, he, he'd been doing it for 20 years. Oh, wow. And um, he got so stressed towards the end that it was all becoming a job. It wasn't actually taking care of people. You know the way that procedures yeah. and policies were. Yeah. It was. You were no longer taking care of people in their final stages. Because oh. I asked him, I said, "Hey, you, you know, what? You know, you, you obviously deal with death on a weekly basis. You know, yeah. the, the aged care people passing away." Yeah. And I said, "How does it affect you?" He goes, "I'm actually honoured. I'm, you know, we're we're here providing that special support to these people in their final days." He said, "It's an honourable profession." Yeah. I said, "So." Why did you 
you know, go into, um, uh, he's now working for Simplot. And, like, and he goes, I just got to the stage, I got burned out. He got so stressed and he got burned out, which is a bit yeah. sad. Yeah, but it, for the 20 years of it that he did, I, I, I thanked him. I said, look, mate, you know, what you guys did is just not easy. Yeah, no. So there's Kate, uh, there's, sorry, there's Josie. She actually had 20 skin cancers on the face with 20 surgeries. I know, unbelievable. I've had um, me doc mate, who was quite funny. His wife works in Launceston Emergency and he's actually a gyno. And, and I said to him, I said, mate, there, there are boxes, aren't there? And he goes, what? There are boxes in the hospitals. <laughs> and he goes, are you think, basically, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I said, yeah, of course I am. <laughs> there are all one says that there's no boxes with special things inside yeah. them in the box. They're lying. They're lying, they're lying they to are. you. They are. They're lying. And, and I've got a nurse mate that I was talking to about it. And he goes, the funniest one he had was this bloke. He asked this bloke to sit down and the bloke couldn't sit. And he said, <laughs> and he goes, What's up your ass? He goes, what's up your ass? He goes, mate, can we like go somewhere private so I can explain what's going on? So he goes, oh, for God's sake, come here. So he took him in and he goes, what's up your butt? And he goes, well, I got an LED light bulb and I just wanted to see if my ass would glow. And he goes, oh. And I said, I said to me, mate, I said, how the hell did you get that? He goes, faucets, mate. Really, really big faucets. Oh, my God. So, so yeah, so, so Doc, he was funny because, you know, some of the stories he said, said like, you, ha you have to watch the episode to see that. That was really funny. Oh my goodness. Then I've had I've had Zeb the miner, underground miner, and we talked about reclamation in underground mines, which is pretty cool. I never oh, realised yeah. they do reclamation yeah. in underground mines. And uh, oh, we had the DJs, the two DJs from Melbourne. Oh, oh, they yeah. had greens, the yeah. greens. They were funny, especially Sheldon. And I've, as soon as I saw, it, I heard that. I went, oh, Shelly. Shelly. That's it, Shelly. <laughs> Come on, say it. Say Bazinga. So that was really funny. Sam was really taking the piss out of his mate there for Sheldon. Oh really? Yeah, it was a uh, it was life altering. <laughs> um, who else was there? Oh god. Oh, we had I had a I've got a cancer uh, a person that's got cancer of the thyroid, the stomach, uh, and of the spine. Oh, and god. she's got six months to live. And I turned around to her and I said, hey. You're not going to die of something you can't see. So that's what my grand, my great grandfather told me, and yeah. he had cancer, and next thing you know, it was gone. So it's my motto: you're not going to die of something that you can't see. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, it's been actually, and I think the the best part is, and I, I was talking to to someone about it, uh, what what I'm doing with the podcast. Yeah. They said it is the most raw, real thing. You know, you've got real noise. Yeah. So it's not like you've got a blue screen or a green screen behind you. That's right. This yeah. is real world, real world. Um, meeting people, talking to people and, and having that experience. Yeah, that's right. And I think people like that sort of format because everybody's different. Yeah. And I think that's the exciting part to do it. Yeah. So we're going to sign off shortly. Does anyone want to say hello to you? Um, <laughs> no. No? No. <laughs> Yeah, she doesn't love you anymore. No. She's she's fed up. You don't love her enough. Is that how it works? Yeah. So you're a nobody. You're nobody. No one. Is that true? Yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> Just, kidding. Just kidding. We love you. You're the best. You're the bees and knees. Uh, actually, there was another couple, another group, yeah. which we were doing. Uh, every time I see them, was I go hugs and kisses, not and crosses. So now the whole family. Oh. Just as I'm leaving, they're all screaming out, hugs and kisses, thoughts and crosses. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Yes, it's another life another day of bread. <laughs> so, guys, thanks a lot. It's been an exciting thank you day. You've done really well. Yeah. And uh, other than that, remember, like, subscribe, comment, you know, all that sort of good stuff. And oh. we'll be uh, talking to you guys soon.